All right, you know what time it is. It's Holly Holiday with Sisters Lead, Sisters Vote. And I am back with another rendition of Black Women and Tiny Mics. Here we go. Y'all already know who this is. We are sitting with the illustrious Dr. Stacy N.C. Grant. She is the president of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. Thank you for being here. It's a pleasure to be here, not only as the international president and CEO of Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated, but the newly installed vice chairwoman of the Council of Presidents Listen for the National that. Panel of the Council. All right yes. Now, yes. <laughs> So, so I we love got, the tiny we got series. real leadership going on <laughs> up in here. So listen, this election, mm. so many things. So many. What's bringing you joy? What's bringing me joy is seeing the way we're coming together as a collective unit to make sure that we advocate for the justice that is required for every citizen of this United States. So I get joy when I see black women coming together, Man. Asian women coming together, Hispanic women coming Ooh. together, white women coming together, because we understand that when we come together, we're unstoppable. <laughs> unstoppable, all right. And the best part is, that, like you said, it's the together. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, mm. we are unstoppable. We together, but it's a few folks that ain't quite made up their mind. They don't know if they gonna vote or not. What's your message for them? So if you haven't made up your mind if you're going to vote or not, or you know people who are in that space, share this video because I want them to be permanently interrupted in their thought process when they hear my voice. People died so that we could have the right and the privilege and the honor to cast a vote. Things may not be perfect. We don't live in a perfect world. But the God I serve tells me that we can work out that perfection in what we do. And the way we do that for a democracy is that everyone has a voice and everyone has the same rights, freedoms, and privileges. So it's not an option whether or not you're going to vote. Yeah. You best vote Listen because our lives are on the ballot. Mm. If you want to be clear about how your children get educated, mm. if you want to ensure that your elders have the kind of health care that they need, mm. if you want to make sure you can drive down smooth paved roads, mm. if you want to make sure that everybody in your community has economic access to intergenerational wealth, you better vote. Voting is not a casual conversation. Voting is an obligation. So when you cast your vote, you add to those whose voices come together to make sure we create policy that protects the interests of everybody in the community. We can't be the land of the free and the home of the brave and we're not courageous enough to cast a vote for what protects those interests. Drop the mic, but I need my tiny mic. But you have officially been disrupted, okay? You've officially been disrupted. So listen, we can't not have this moment and talk about your vote, your journey to the polls. So I know Zeta Phi Beta is going to be taking armies and armies of people in our community to the polls. But for you, Madam President, yes, imagine I only give you a little two-seater car. Ooh, a two-seater. And it's you. Convertible? Of course, because okay. you got the little fly. <laughs> and it's you and one other person, living or heavenly. Who are you taking to the polls with you? Oh, that's a hard question. Okay. But the first person that I think about is my maternal grandmother, oh. Pernell Agatha Roden. She yes. left this planet December 15th. 2015 and 98, oh, wow. 98 years young so she lived nine decades close to a century on this planet and I would want her driving in that car with me say grandma we have an opportunity to create history something you've never seen in over a century of living mm. that we can put a black woman boy a Jamaican become I, I did too yeah. so shout out big up to all yeah. the Jamaicans <laughs> So that's why having my grandmother in the car would be so awesome as a Jamaican American. Absolutely. To be able to cast our votes together to create history. And I say that in my independent capacity of because course. as the international president of Zeta, we're nonpartisan. Non so we don't tell people who to vote for. Yeah. We just share with them that you have to vote that's right. and educate yourself on what's on the ballot that's and right. mobilize to bring people. But to bring my grandma Yeah, well, we, 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 we just trying to figure out what grandma going to do. That's what we were talking Gra about. That's right. And All grandma right. would just be so proud we'll be to right. vote and to see what she believed in, yes. which is a world of peace and harmony. And some people say, oh, that's just too lofty a goal. 
it's only lofty if you don't aim for it. Ooh. So what we're doing is when we vote, we win. Yes. When we work together as women of color, Caucasian women, indigenous women, women, period. Beyonce said it best. Yes. Who runs the world? Girls. Girls. <laughs> <laughs> I loved it. I loved every minute of it. And this has been another uh, with the Dr. Grant from Zeta Phi Beta Sorority Incorporated. And this has been Black Women and Tiny Mics. Let's see who I can get next time. <laughs>